Hello friends, I am here to tell you something about kidney diseases. It's important to be aware of but not afraid of kidney diseases. I am Dr. Dilip Bhalla, Senior Director of Nephrology in Max Hospital, Purpur Ganj, Delhi. So what is good about Indian healthcare is that the average survival has gone up by almost 20 years. So an average Indian is living for more than 70 years. But the trade-off has been that the chronic diseases, if a patient was diabetic and hypertensive, the trade-off is that the chronic diseases like chronic kidney disease, chronic heart problem, heart failure, the incidence of this has gone up. So today we should know what is the kidneys, what are the symptoms that occur when your kidneys start failing and how to approach this problem. So what are kidneys? Basically, they are two bean stretch organs that are present in the back of the abdomen. So luckily we have two, God has been kind, he has given us two. What is their role? Their role is to basically clear the body of all the toxins, whatever food we eat, the water that we drink, all the other medicines that we take. So the main role of the kidneys is to clear the body of all the waste products through the formation of urine. So basically they are essential to keep you healthy and smiling. Now what happens when the kidneys are not supporting or their function starts deteriorating? What are the symptoms? So first of all the patient will notice or the individual will notice that slight swelling of the legs. Some people may notice that they sleep when they get up, somebody tells them that the eyes are swollen. Others may complain that when they go and they find that they are passing excess of urine in the night. That is because the kidneys are not able to concentrate the urine. Fourth and most important is that people complain of tiredness. So they say that whatever work that we do, if you are walking two kilometers or somebody is playing, he says that I find that doing this activity, I feel tired. And as the kidney function deteriorates, his symptoms go on getting worse. He complains of loss of appetite. His appetite, if he's eating two chapatis that come down to one chapati, he feels like vomiting, more so when he's brushing the teeth. And if it goes on progressing, he finds that he's sleeping, excess of tiredness. So these are the basic symptoms that would tell you that your kidneys are not doing well. So if you are noticing any of these symptoms, it is best that you take expert medical advice. So there are some conditions in which a person is predisposed to having kidney disease. These predispositions are if you are, are at, have diabetes or there's a family history of diabetes, you have hypertension, there's a family history of kidney disease, but most importantly in our country is the use of desi or indigenous medicines and painkillers. Our country, we have a lot of additional, other than allopathy, we have a lot of other fields of medicine that are there and there are a lot of over-the-counter medicines that are there. Among them, desi medicines is one of the important causes that can lead to kidney disease. So if you are having these symptoms, you have a, this predisposition, it is best that you take expert medical advice and the best person to give you this expert medical advice would be your family physician. Now normally when a person has these complaints, there are some simple tests that will tell the family physician that his kidneys are not working well. And these simple tests are you do an early morning urine routine examination, you can do blood counts, you can do a complete blood count, you can do a kidney function test and you can do an ultrasound. Now if these show some abnormality, if the urine is showing that you are passing albumin in the urine, your blood levels, your hemoglobin is low, your urea creatine is high, now that will tell us that you are having some kidney problem and it is best at this stage treatment be started and you go further and meet a nephrologist. Now once you come to us nephrologists, there are two ways we look at the disease. One is we look at what is the disease, what stage you are in and if there is anything that we can reverse, that means bring your kidney function down back to normal. So there are two ways that we look at it. One is if the kidney is sleeping, that means we can reverse it or the kidney is slowly dying. So we look at it this way. And the second is that how do we approach the problem and how do we further retard or we see that the disease does not progress. So once the person comes to us, we look at all the risk factors and, where are, and the tests that you come with us, they, we may require to do some individual tests on an individual basis, some extra tests that are there, but that is very individualized according to each person that comes to us. So we look at the two aspects, one is if the kidney is sleeping, 
either he is having these some causes of a kidney sleeping in which means that the kidney is temporarily stopped functioning and it can come back to normal so if the patient these some conditions are if he is having infection there are some indigenous medicines that the patient is taking so these are the things in which when we stop there may be some reversibility and the kidney may come back to normal but if this is not there then it would could be that the kidney slowly dying and in that condition we have to see that the kidney supports the body for as long as possible that is there but you must realize it is a disease that is to be looked at and fought at you should not be scared so when the we find that the patient is having irreversible kidney damage so how do we go about it now when a patient has irreversible kidney damage simple things we look at the diet we try and restrict the proteins in the diet if the patient has blood pressure we bring about adequate control of blood pressure if the patient has diabetes we bring about adequate control of diabetes plus we look at other things like if his patient is having some bone disease or some uh, his hemoglobin is low which is called anemia we look at these factors now by these simple measures we can retard that means the patient can continue with this dying kidney for a period of at least 10 years depending on the stage that he comes so all is not lost you still can live a normal life and with diligent looking after yourself and care your kidneys can support you for at least 10 to 15 years but there may be a subset of people whose kidney disease is diagnosed very late so there is nothing to be afraid of right so as i said it is a disease that you should be aware of and not afraid of if the patient has advanced problems we still have treatments for you we can offer you dialysis we can offer you transplantation right so you must realize that there are very eminent personalities like our former prime minister vp singh was on dialysis for almost 20 years eminent personalities like film actors rajnikanth is an example who's had a transplantation is doing very well and is healthy and acting and is as robust as anybody else so depending on each individual and the stage of the disease we tailor the treatment right for medications diet advanced renal failure we can go on to dialysis and transplantation so finally what i would like to say that this is a disease that you have to combat and combat it very fearlessly with strength and giving strength to others and in case any need is required please take expert guidance in looking after this disease thank you